Hey guys, this is MJ, the Student Tech Tree, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a whole bunch of lectures uh, for subject CT2, which focuses more on the financial theory and business side of actuarial science. Now, these lectures are going to be audio only, so there isn't going to be any visual um, slides you know, to accompany this, um, and this is just going to maybe help the, the videos get produced quicker. And also because it is a lot of theory, it's not necessary uh, for us to have a lot of visual cues. So with that being said, I guess you can use these lectures, uh, you can listen to them right before you go to bed, or you can listen to them while you drive to university or drive to work. Um, or yeah, you can just listen to them uh, while you do something else, or you can you know, make notes while you listen. Um, how it's going to work is that I'm not going to do a lecture on each chapter. Um, instead, we're going to do a lecture on each topic in each chapter. This is just so we can cover more ground, um, the lectures aren't too long, and you can focus more in on areas that you, you, know, you need more help with. I mean, if you're very comfortable with a topic, you don't necessarily have to waste time listening to that lecture. Uh, you can rather use that time you know, focusing on other areas where you are struggling. So yeah, we're going to have one topic, um, oh sorry, one lecture, one video on each topic. So for instance, this is going to be called CT2.1.0 because it's chapter one, the very um, introduction aspect of it. And then the next video will be called CT2.1.1. Um, but yeah, I mean, just in this video, what I want to talk about is just the course in general. Um, I found it quite easy. It did come quite naturally to me. So hopefully you guys are going to get some benefit from me just talking through uh, the material. Um, some, of the, some of the chapters are going to be the key principles of finance, company ownership, taxation, financial instruments, use of derivatives, issues of shares, introduction to accounts, uh, the main accounts, depreciation and reserves, generating accounts, group accounts and insurance company accounts, interpretation of these accounts uh, with security of loan capital or shareholder analysis, the limitations of accounts, capital structure and dividend policy, weighted average cost of capital, and capital project appraisal. So it's just a very quick rundown of the various uh, chapters in this course. And yeah, we're going to be uh, diving into each chapter and looking at the, the subtopics around each one. Um, also, I don't want to make the videos too long, so when it gets to around 10 minutes, I might stop and, if necessary, make it into two parts. Um, or if I'm really close to the finish, I might just push it up to 15 minutes, um, seeing how it goes. Um, some of the objectives of this course, I mean, it's to demonstrate a knowledge and understanding of the principal terms in the use of investment and asset management. Um, you're going to need to be able to demonstrate an awareness of the key principles of finance. Uh, you're also going to be wanting to describe the structure of a joint stock company and the different methods by which it may be financed. Um, you're also going to be looking at describing the basic principles of personal and corporate taxation. Uh, you also want to demonstrate a knowledge and understanding of the characteristics of the principal forms of financial instruments issued or used by companies and the ways in which they may be issued. Uh, that's actually quite a lot of interesting stuff, so we're going to have fun there. Um, also, we're going to want to discuss the factors to be considered by a company when deciding on its capital structure and dividend policy. Um, we're also going to define what is meant by a company's cost of capital and discuss how its cost of capital interacts with the nature of the investment projects it undertakes. And then, I think... Coming up to the last few ones, we're also going to describe the basic construction of accounts of different types and the role and principal features of the accounts of the company. And we're going to finally interpret the accounts of a company or a group of companies and discuss the limitations of such interpretations. And, uh, oh no, actually, sorry, we do have one more. We're going to show the financial techniques can be used in the assessment of capital investment projects. Now I understand there was quite a lot of information overload. We've given a very broad and boring overview of the subject, but it is a lot of fun. I know it's it's got a lot of accounting in it, which is you know more boring than actuarial science. But we're going to bring the two together, and we're going to show that with this course, you're going to become 
very clued up when it comes to business. You're going to understand financial news. You're going to be able to make valid opinions about what's happening in the stock market. And yeah, I think this is a, a key ingredient in your overall education as it is going to make you understand wealth and how to create it and how it works and all that type of stuff. So I guess without further ado, um, let me say goodbye for now. And I'm going to start recording uh, four new videos. Uh, the first one is going to be called Budgeting and Financing Decisions. The second one will be Business Objectives. The third will be Maximization of Shareholders' Wealth. And the fourth will be Capital Markets. And that will those four videos will represent um, Chapter 1. But sure, we do have, we have 18 chapters. So it's going to be long, but uh, we're going to go into it. I'm going to focus on the juicy stuff, on the important stuff. And hopefully this is going to help you guys to absolutely ace this exemption uh, or this exam and yeah, get you on the right track to becoming an actuary. I already have uh, all the CT1 videos on my YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out. I mean, you could even do the two subjects at the same time, CT1 and CT2. It is possible to do them together. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a difficult course. I mean... CT8 is going to financial economics. Now that's that's some tricky stuff, but CT2 um, it should be comfortable if you work hard, you apply your mind, you should be fine. So yeah, thank you for joining me on this journey. Let's uh, let's go make some more videos and yeah, let's get this done. See you soon, guys. Cheers.